Why do they drop ideas? Because they have no answers? Because they don't passionate about it? Because they were never meant to succeed in the first place? Because it's a bad idea? All, all of those are my thing. I want to hear why, why you think. Well, in, in reality, I mean, the stu stupidly quick answer is it depends, right? Um, the statistics naturally is that 9 out of 10 startups will fail. Okay? And that is pretty daunting. And at Sputnik, what we are trying to do, we are trying to future-proof startups in the best way we can. Some of them will fail without a doubt, but we are trying to go back into the inception. That's why we invest so early on, because my partner Joe and I, we believe that while not future-proofing everyone, there are certain things that you could teach or point out or make someone aware of early on in their journey that will make them much more likely to go the distance, but inevitably some of them fail. And it is part of the journey. Um, I would venture to say that when you attempt something new, something that never done before, something that if successful will create something for humanity that is completely new and different that have not been discovered before and you will get rewarded um, with millions, billions of dollars on the one end of the spectrum. On the other end of the spectrum, there will be failure. People who will attempt to go on the journey, a fair number of them would fail. And the industry statistics is nine out of 10 startups fail. Okay. And, and how do you future-proof people? You don't future-proof people necessarily, but there are certain skills that you could learn. There are certain mindset you could adopt that will allow you to go the distance longer, that will allow you to try, fail, get up and try again. Because very often, um, when the startup fails, it is not only, the, it, it could be the failure of idea, but more likely than not, it's the failure of a human who was trying to implement that idea. Because very few ideas are right of the get-go. You wake up on Sunday, you have your cup of coffee or whatever else you're having a Sunday morning, you take a piece of paper, you write something brilliant. Almost never that something brilliant will translate into how it will be in a company. It might sometimes, but more often than not. You would have to go through the journey, you would have to try to build it, you would tweak it a little bit, you would talk to a customer. It is a process. And it is a very difficult process. And one of the most essential things is that the driver of that crazy roller coaster car will keep on in the seat, keep on driving, keep on climbing on that hill. And if that person quits, that often means the end of that startup. And so with that in mind, um, while you could not future-proof a person, you could future-proof the approach. You could educate people more about difficulty is inevitable. Failure might be inevitable. This is how you react. This is how you regroup yourself. This is who you go to lean for help. This is, this is how the successful companies have done this. This is how the companies that have not been successful have done it. Many, many things that you could be aware of that will help you on the journey will it guarantee that you will success? Of course not.